and Pastor Angel Jackson from St. John McVena, and these are the devotions for February 19th. A reading from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10 in the NRSV. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of great love with which he loved us even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of work so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. The word of the Lord. I have one screwdriver that I keep in my house. I have a whole bin of tools in my garage, but one screwdriver within easy reach. I'll admit I try that screwdriver on just about everything for which I need a tool. Hmm, well, it looks a little small for this screw, but it might work. A wrench would probably be better, but the screwdriver is right here. Maybe I can... In this reading from Ephesians, we are reminded that we are made into new people by God, created in Christ Jesus for good work. That's our purpose. Of course, we can do other things. Neutral things, wasting time, spinning our wheels, or even hurtful things. Like my screwdriver can pound a nail, though it won't be pretty. But we are made to do God's work, good works. We have been made alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. You are what God made you, created in Christ for good works.